<laughs> All right. <laughs> the sounds of normalcy. I the map. I don't know. Fill the air at Maymont Park. And it's really pretty. It's very scenic. We had a lot of fun walking around. Sandwiches. Tasha Davis brings her son Tyler and friend John Kraft. Grapes. To enjoy the weather and a picnic on the 100 acre property. We had planned it, but. Yeah, I no to get so. out of the house and do something for the summer. And, 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 and plus, I've never been here before. You've never been here before. And with Saturday's reopening of the park, some can't imagine an unthinkable accident here that took the life of four-year-old Sean Wills. Hi, it's really unfortunate what happened, and I'm really sorry. Sean Wills and his father were both running for cover Thursday when strong winds swept through Maymont Park, causing a poplar tree to fall on the four-year-old, killing him. This is a very tragic time. Uh, we obviously have focused uh, our attention upon our sympathy for the family first, but we, we are having to deal with our, with our own emotions over this event. Executive Director Norman Burns says they followed their severe weather policy to a T by closely monitoring weather and storm alerts and evacuating the park to get everyone out safely. Unfortunately, there are times that uh, freakish storms, I think uh, that's been what, how this has been described, that turn so quickly in decisions, and we absolutely responded as quickly and as appropriately as, as we could. I asked Burns, will Thursday's event prompt them to change their severe weather policy? The Maymont Foundation is continually uh, looking at all of our policies and procedures and, and always consider the, uh, the things that we need to change based upon any situation that we face. More than 100 people gathered Saturday near that deadly scene at Maymont Park to remember Sean Wills and to support his family devastated by such a tragic event. I pray that God would strengthen them during this time of loss and that um, he would bring peace to them for the whole total healing process. Sunday, Pentecostals of Richmond, the church where the Wills family attends and worships, will hold Father's Day services and we're told it's expected to be very emotional. At Maymont Park, Sandra Jones, CBS 6 News.